Hey, what's up? Um, I'm Jared, and this is going to be the Astro Future podcast. Um, after talking about it, trying to make a plan to make it happen, and eventually arriving here where we have a studio ready, we have everything you need to get it going. So, yeah, it's time to get it going. So, um, pretty much, it's going to be released every Thursday, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll try and move it up to more later on in the future, but for now, as far as editing goes, it's quite a bit that I have to do. So the podcast is pretty much about life in general, how to navigate it, and just teach each other what we can to make it through. Like, I've personally been through some weird shit in my life that I definitely needed some help through, and in some of my life, I felt like wasn't there I didn't know who to go to I didn't know how to deal with a lot of things and as I've grown up I've become a lot more open with discussing a lot of things and a lot of personal things and throughout that I've realized that a lot of people actually have a lot going on like (laughs) like due to the openness of my conversations um, I've had many conversations with people about a lot of wild things I won't really share them but there's a lot going on and mentally we all of us need a little bit of a, a nudge and <laughs> myself included um but yes um we're gonna get some people on we're gonna talk about life in general and hopefully they can help navigate it or help give some unique input to different options of living and how to make it through things because i can't give you the answers to what's happening right now but we can teach you how to make it through it. The first guest we're going to have is Tristan Wilson. Uh, that's going to be on Thursday. And we've already shot one episode. <laughs> because we shot one, which was going to be the first episode. But then due to a little bit of difficulties of trying to figure out how to do this, <laughs> um, we ended up just scrapping that one as a little bit. But I'll release that with this video now as a little bit of an introduction to it. And then when we get started, I would like to also add in another camera or two, just so it can switch between us. And yeah, so just make it move a little bit better, flow nicer. Um, I hope the sound is okay. For now, we're just using earphones. In the future, one day when I'm big and have some money, I'll set up a proper thing and have some mark stands here and everything like that. And also set it up to be loud, which will also be very cool. But um, yeah, that's future stuff. <laughs> So we this is the Astral Future Podcast. We've got Tristan here. How's it? And then we're just going to talk about life, random shit, maybe have a laugh. So yeah. Yeah. So start off, what kind of advice would you give someone? Like first off, advice. Hmm. Just to live with life. I think it all starts with being grateful, bro. Like, I can agree with that. Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's easy to get caught up in like the mess of life and fly by the little things. Yeah. Quite easily that can happen, eh? Life is very confusing and pulls you in sometimes into random shit. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. 100%. I think you can get caught up in the hustle and bustle. It's too easy to worry about things like the mundane. And then you get lost and you're not worried about things you should be worried about anymore yeah just like general life and living it and just finding a way to navigate that living in life (laughs) Hmm. but even now you've got new graphs compared to old graphs which is quite rad like the different environments and the different ways you can actually work within those places yeah and I'm grateful for that as well like the being exposed to different things is also it's a, a good experience. Yeah, because it's a little bit less repetitive than the other things you say before. Yeah, no, a lot more, a lot less stress, uh, conducive to learning. Yeah. And then, have you found like the learning curve for like finding and learning new things? I guess it depends on passion. If you want to learn something, I think. It, it'll come more and more naturally. Fair but, enough. 
Martin with his car. Yeah, no, definitely. That thing is crazy. Mm. And <laughs> yeah. self taught. Yeah. Also, just learning from scratch how to get shit done. Hundred percent. I think anyone can do it. It's like a harnessing of your own passion. When I mean, you can unlock that knowledge, you just got to be passionate about it, or like grateful. Yeah. Mm. Just grateful to be learning these new things makes it just that more enjoyable. And like willing to go towards actually trying them. Mm. It doesn't feel like yeah. work. It feels like education. You're learning just by being there. I found the same thing as well, dude. Like as I've learned, as I've grown up, it's been so much like better than like compared to school. School is just a shit show. Yeah. No, but I I don't think school is conducive to learning for everyone either. Yeah. There's no way one person can stand up in front of 30 odd and teach them all the same thing. It's not yeah. going to happen. Good old fish climbing a tree. Fish, fish climbing a tree. Yeah. It's not going to work out. So the education system is a little bit confusing. Like, I honestly learned nothing in school. Yeah. Like, I can walk away and say most of the things happened after school that I started learning. Definitely. I probably learned 90% of the things I know after school. In school, you just learned, like, social construct. There was nothing they really taught us there, dude. It is often, like, very much socializing. <laughs> and then, like, what, guiding yourself in the direction. Like, so, the subjects would help guide you in that direction. But nowadays, I don't even think that does that. Because I don't know, I walked away from school not knowing shit. I had no idea what I wanted to do. <clears throat> yeah, almost, like, dropped into life. Like, yeah. Yeah, man, and I feel like now more than ever, people are, are feeling that. Like, no one really knows what they want to do. And if you do know what you want to do, the likelihood of it happening is so, so slim. Yeah, it is a mission to try to get it's it done. It's a competitive market. Well. Yeah. Anything that is lucrative or considered to be in the future somewhat relevant, people are climbing on those trains. Yeah. Then it gets flooded, and then you're just one of millions of people out of a job because you've got that one thing in common, and then it's not worth anything. Like the Incredibles, when everyone's super, no one is. Fair enough. That is one of the things, weirdly enough. Hmm. No, it's crazy, man. Oh. So, in general, like the education system, like what would you think they should introduce that would like work better as even a process within there? Hmm. I think instead of giving like a broad range of subjects that everyone has to do, give fewer subjects that cover m more information and make it more enticing for someone that wants to learn that specific thing. Yeah. So instead of having like many different things that you really either should at or somewhat good at and then you come out with nothing, rather have something that appeals to many people but goes in depth that when you come out at least you've learned something. Even if it's one thing, you've learned it in depth. Then you've come out like willing to learn. Yeah. Well, you've learned the steps of learning. And also nowadays, I think they should also learn a little bit about themselves. Mm. Which isn't really a thing. Like within the school construct, you just end up doing like fucking. Well, the steps to self mastery is the <laughs> steps to mastering anything. If you can master yourself, then like if you can decide, I want to sit down and learn, and you master that ability to control your free will learning how to focus you'll sit and learn and learning anything learning how to push yourself yeah hmm. it's applicable to anything if you sit and focus on it you will learn definitely just take some time <laughs> well I guess it's until it clicks yeah it's until you find your method of learning any particular material and then it'll work for you yeah but so also there is like a huge difference between like like say now like actually like letting it click like so actual realization of something compared to like just learning it and being like oh that's what that is oh cool we'll read that mm, but and then that's what that is <laughs> if it's passion fueled if your motive for learning becomes the passion of learning and it's not like you want to master any one particular thing yeah I think once you pass that barrier and you become like good at learning anything you just become good at everything yeah because you've unlocked that like key to learn you can sit and look at something and digest it to its core and then understand it from its beginnings like you know from how to basic yeah. yeah 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 and i think it is it's applicable applicable to anything that you can sit down with the same intent as just learning something and yeah. learning anything 
And also a lot of things you just have to throw yourself in the deep end with. Hmm. Like some things you won't know how to do and then you just gotta wing it and make it happen until it happens. Like <laughs> Yeah, well you can have someone stand up and teach you something in front of a class or you can head down and yeah. learn. You can try. It should be somewhat included as well. But I guess they try and do that with like speeches or whatever and they have to stand up and try. But I it's a know. very strange environment, it's awkward. As someone like, introverted, I found speeches to be horrible. Really. Yeah. Uh, that was not fun for me. You'd have to stand up in front of like 30 people and say some shit, and then you get marked on it. Yeah. Like, what if I'm just naturally a shy guy, and now I must get marked on how well I tell like 30 people some bullshit? Yeah. And my language is also terrible. <laughs> so me in school was also shit. Too. Communication skills, and they're like, right. oh, yeah, you can barely speak. Like, but that's because maybe I don't do these things. Yeah. And if it's not commonly something you do, it is weird. And mm. it is kind of odd that everyone has to somewhat then be a public speaker in a way to have yeah. to learn that and be to have to force that. someone to be able to do that is bullshit like yeah. there's clubs for that like if you want to yeah. be in public speaking go do public speaking or go do debating Fair go enough. be one of those people that. but you see they, there's a specified area where you can go and learn to do that yeah self mastery if you want to master that go master that but don't stand me up in front of 30 people and be like yeah this counts yeah. towards your marks you gotta stand yeah. up there and say some shit yeah, no, that's a whole other thing and then even in Afrikaans like Oh, <laughs> oh! A whole other language. It. Like I can feel it. <laughs> can you imagine, dude? I, to this day, I don't know. You know, you know, I don't know, dude. I just never picked it up. But also, yeah. I had this like mental block with it. Like in school, I just because I had the ability to fuck around, I just mental blocked it. it came off like gibberish, bro. Yeah. Like when someone spoke, <laughs> Chiman just went like static. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah. literally blank out. <laughs> No. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's those code languages that some can speak in the background. It's like <laughs> mm. often I think people you you don't know what they're saying in the back, <laughs> but it is like I don't know. Like Zulu, I wish I learned more, hands down. But or had access to that in school. Only when we left school that actually became a thing. Yeah. But yeah, I think it will be a little bit more applicable. Nowadays. Yeah, but they're, they're still funny a lot. That's like you can go on to any mine in Africa and you can yeah, yeah. communicate That's to anyone. combo, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a slang <laughs> yeah, yeah. mishmash. Bro. Yeah, That's... dude. Even that would be crazy to learn. So maybe put some time into that. It's possible. I've tried before. Like even right. when I worked with the other yeah. guys, yeah. Those guys also, I thought they were teaching me, but then I thought they were fucking with me. So I started backing off. But just like, in case later they're... on when I looked, <laughs> It was actually the right words, but I just thought, I was like, there's no way. Like, there's some no of the words, I was just like, there's no way. There's no way that means, like, shoe or something crazy. Yeah, I thought I was getting hustled, man. <laughs> but they were actually trying to teach me, and I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> nah, they you... could be, like, uh, dude, I don't know what it means. They could be telling you to say anything, dude. And then you, you walk around, walk say around. it to the wrong guy, and you catch it back at <laughs> All of a sudden, dude. Uh, nah, I feel that, dude. Yeah. I wish I could have learned a foreign language in school, but, like, well, like foreign, foreign, like further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not uh, American. American. <laughs> nah, dude. Like, <laughs> um, like maybe like a German or a French. French, not nah, better. Even Italian, dude. Like just something yeah. like exotic, just to you know, what the hell? Why not? Yeah. Yeah, but like Afrikaans, jeez. Like you want to walk somewhere and just all those hooks <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it like snake, doesn't <laughs> sound romantic at all, dude. You can't go to any any country without oh, Afrikaans. It's, it wasn't it the most voted language at a stage. Hmm. At least that's what I heard. I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh, with your, dude, yeah, having been someone that hears it on the regular, yeah, <laughs> I don't no. know how that's possible. But I think you get like nice, and then you get like very extreme Afrikaans. Yeah. Like blast off the gods. Yeah. yeah. I guess, dude. <laughs> hmm. We've all met one of those. Now. Hmm. So, something like... I've heard you say, like, many times, is the first thing you must teach someone is like how to what be like uh, themselves or find themselves but there was a way you said it that like worked so well uh the teaching like the yeah well that's like the teaching of learning yeah no no but like specifics for like let's say youth or someone like trying to find themselves 
Uh, like you a, said it in some some uh, words. I don't yeah, know if you can recall them, mm. but um, yeah, you got to first teach to understand yourself, yeah, then understand others, and then your place in the environment. Yeah, because mm. I strongly believe in that as well, dude. Like when I heard it as well, I was like, holy fuck, yeah, that makes so much sense. No, yeah. well, you can't know how to interact with someone else if you don't know how you interact with the world. Yeah. So I think it does. It's, it's got to start from understanding who you are, what your place here is, before you can even communicate with someone else. I think that's why there's a lot of anger and aggression in the world because no one really, no one really knows what's going on, and everyone's too quick to get angry yeah. about it. There is very like heavy barriers between everyone in communication. Yeah. Especially like nowadays, there's so much that we learn. Like there is literally thousands and thousands of things on the internet that people can walk out knowing completely different things and have nothing in, like that fits. Like me, I don't know much about cars. I can sort of talk about cars, but like I don't actually know. But like there's some lines that some people don't actually. Yeah, but like, we're the most connected we've ever been. Like we said yeah. with Martin, dude, if you had to sit down and learn anything, there's like a wealth of information available. Yeah. You can just sit and learn. But also, like... If it became a passion, that is. Yeah, definitely. But I think also there's, a like, a part of it where people are nervous or believe... Like, I believed I was fucking dumb when I was younger. Like, so there's a part, like, where because I thought that, I never actually put on more. Like, only afterwards. Like, oh, after so, school, like, you I put, put your own, like, cap stock on, like, you couldn't pass a certain point because yeah, you just assumed I literally, I, was, I thought I was dumb. Like, everyone would say shit, and I was like, I don't understand that at all. Like, <laughs> but you never took the time to sit and learn it. Exactly. So it was, yeah. But you don't know till you know. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's what scares uh, most people off of studying things, but, like, seriously. Yeah. Is that you try and study it, and if you find out that you didn't do so well, it deters you from trying to learn because you've already done bad at it yeah but you know Rome wasn't built in a day the whole hoo-ha like, definitely there's a, and time. also like people don't actually understand like learning as a whole concept like you go in thinking something's one thing but then you can walk out after one thing like they, your your perspective can change so many times within like a year or two or three years or you also have to be open to the new information there might that's be the in thing, any field there's of always study. new things happening it's always new stuff coming out like even now with science they might say physics isn't working anymore because of this new one g minus two i don't know much about that to be honest but like because of that they're saying that physics will be it's got to restructure like, sort of now like because now there's a new player on the field that wasn't included in the last setup yeah. so how does that make any sense? <laughs> Who knows what's coming? Yeah. I mean, it's crazy stuff. That's why I think that's even getting... We get so so far away from just the, the first understanding was the, like teaching someone how to be themselves first. You can learn anything if you master that first, but it, the extent of it is endless. You can go from just learning how to be you to learning anything like that. Yeah. So and you can the, make yourself better while doing that as well. Like you can figure your shit out, even like psychologically, you can learn over time how to better deal with your shit. Or from having figured out yourself to begin with, it's very difficult to figure out who you are when you're still trying to perceive the world at the same time. You were never taught to handle a certain amount of like tasks at once. Yeah. You're questioning your own identity, and then you're still having interactions with the world that don't make sense. Yeah, and that that must be a lot to try to figure out and carry. I think that's where a lot of people like develop disorders and things, and they become conflicted. Yeah, because suddenly you're at a loss. Things don't compute. It's like, hey, when you redline that engine, dude. Mm. Hey, even I've been there. <laughs> sure, yeah. you have. Like, just uh, sometimes it happens, dude. No, it's when you get sucked out of the reality. You know, you're not living at the edge of the projector. You're not grateful for what's. Um, happening you're worried about what's going to happen yeah so like present yeah that's where i think it is dude like the same as self-mastery it's mastering being here is mastering being able to learn if you're present for that information obviously it's going to sink in but it's how attentive do you need to be as an individual to learn any form of information yeah that comes down to you definitely the way you apply yourself to things 
like monks, but have you seen how monks, they can yeah, just they, like those are crazy. pull crazy poses or like balance on their heads and stuff for hours? There's but even that one for Shaolin monks where they beat oaks with sticks, like because they have to have strength training, like boxers <clears> even get the, mm. the ribs. Like conditioning. Like conditioning, yeah. And they just have to learn how to move through it throughout whatever situation comes, like, or you have to sit on your head even for a long time, or not sit on your head, but like balance on your head <laughs> uncomfortable positions for long, long very periods long. of time and you get to know yourself through yeah it's like um, <laughs> anyone that says uh, time goes by fast have you ever planked time goes slow bro. planking is an issue you try to hold yourself up and like you, you count out a minute suddenly those mm. seconds become seconds but yeah dude but even time just because of it like uh, my general interaction with it throughout my life it's a very weird thing to try to comprehend like it hasn't always been regular well that's where one could argue what state of mind were you in if you were in a state of like creative flow maybe the time just felt longer but it was yeah like this. well that's the thing like there's some times where i can chill out and i can like fade out for a while into something and just like not notice time but then there's some times when i'm paying attention and i can do it but there's also like some things like shrooms but time does not exist. Yeah. Like that's days and you're there like for like what tripping for like what eight hours? Yeah, but it feels like weeks. Yeah. You like that's not time. It. Like yeah. and even like with the astral projection, like even that, like it's not time wherever you go. But haven't you ever like opened your eyes and you've suddenly like driven from somewhere crazy far to like your house and you're like I don't know what just happened. I, I wasn't there. I that's, think that's actually like habitual. Like but, we've gotten so used to driving but how is it not the same bitch, thing but yeah it's time dilation time. like yeah. it transported me from time one to time two with nothing in between yeah. like teleported me forward in time yeah the sacrifice is the you, you don't get to remember what happened but you got from point a to point b dude yeah no definitely like not teleported but time aborted time aborted <laughs> time aborted time aborted <laughs> yeah dude, there you go dude time yeah. aborted perfect it is an option yeah. but th th those are one of those things where just time isn't normal like you can say that it is what it is and 24 hours is 24 hours but no but maybe that car at home you were just so in tune with your car that like walking like waiting in a line like a cow in a herd bro you just moved autonomously like time just became irrelevant you 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 weren't in a realm where time was a necessary construct fair enough Yeah, it's wild, dude. It's a very confusing one to try to comprehend. Mm. That's why I used to, when I drove to the Glen, like that long drive, I used to think a lot, dude. Or even like from my mom's house to my dad's house. Like you sit in a car for like an hour and a half. Like if you bang music, you'll like, you become in tune to just playing music. Oh, I also love but I used to sit and just car, think, dude. Out, dude. <laughs> no, like, see, I, I used to find that as like being my only time where it was just me. Because if I was at anyone's house, it wasn't like my house. It wasn't like my yeah. own space. And even if it was, it was like when someone else was sleeping, then I was just like the only one up. And then that was your own time. Yeah. So being in my car, dude, was like, remember when I still had that hub stand? Yeah. You know how cruising on my own used to feel, dude? Yo, time Yo, felt the crazy, dude. Fun. Sitting like have an hour-long <laughs> conversation with yourself. <laughs> until you burn the chill. <laughs> yeah, if you burn seats, that's a fun. Yeah, I did that too. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> the car were fun when we were kids. Yeah, no, dude. Now I'd be like, no. But back then it was logical. Yeah, no. Well, it wasn't logical, but it was like, yeah, let's fucking do this. Yeah, like, <laughs> I didn't have an armrest. I might as well have a hub. Exactly. Like, exactly, dude. Yeah, dude. Like I wouldn't have a hub in my car now, but you know, I didn't even smoke up. Yeah. Yeah. But that's also different times. Different times. For some dude. reason, I still choose. To. I needed a hub stand back then. Was, <laughs> Hit my lungs. Yeah, yeah, it's lion, dude. But I enjoy the hub there. <laughs> yeah. Holy dude. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, man. There's random gaps in between this that I still look around and I'm like, fuck. Like. Sometimes I've got to think of something like in between just to say because it does actually like switch off. Like doing a podcast is weird. Like yeah. <laughs> it's not weird, weird. It's actually quite nice, but like it feels like just a conversation. It but is. Like, 
But like when it dro- when it drops out, like you, like normally you can just chill out and sit in silence for a little bit. Yeah, we normally because like do. often we do just sit like a little bit in between and then we chat a little bit there. There's and normally some shit there. playing on the screen. But well. now when there's silence, like I don't know if like mm-hmm. someone will be like, what's going on? Yeah, why are <laughs> like, these guys sitting doing nothing? <laughs> when silence is actually quite normal. Yeah. Well, at least for us. Like, yeah. From any other perspective, now we're just sitting in silence. Definitely. But yeah, I mean, like. But also, as far as like like you were saying, just with your own space, like for me, I've been living on my own now for like a year and a half, mm. and it is quite nice. But like, I've gotten used to my own space, so me thinking about going out of that is quite odd. Because mm. I literally have just been in here on my own. I've been like the whole opposite. I've always been like cohabitation. I haven't lived where it's only me. Like I come home and it's just me in my house. I close the door and it's just me there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have my dog. Yeah. Okay. Dog is <laughs> a chum. Yeah, yeah chum. Dog is can't, dude. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, but like different. <laughs> no, different. But yeah. I quite enjoy living on my own though. Like, also because I'm very nocturnal. Like, I'll, I'll go and work at night or whatever, so I'll piss someone else off if I had to do that. I always find myself tiptoeing around the house because I am that, like, I'm the, oh, I'll check a sack. 12 o'clock now, nah, I yeah. go do something. Like, I'm also quite fucking nocturnal. just lying there looking for <laughs> yeah. YouTube. Like, what's there to be done? Yeah. I'll start YouTubing some bullshit. Suddenly you're on Amazon looking at prices of crap that you, you don't have the money to buy. <laughs> Just yeah, dude. just because it looks cool. Yeah, dude. dude there's some cool <laughs> shit out there. Distractions. <laughs> yeah, but sleep that's that's not an option. Man. But yeah, no, I wouldn't mind doing the for myself some time alone, dude. Like, yeah. But then, just later on when you move into your own place, you can just do it solo then instead of like doing the roommate thing or whatever like that. Yeah, have some time to like live on my ass. Like, yeah, sure. just see what it's yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Make sure all the shit's there. Otherwise, if it's not, it's because I didn't put it there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is my memory is quite bad, but at least I can like move around here and know where everything is just because it is my space. So like I can. You know what's what in your space, dude. Yeah. It's your, your place. And I'm my own cleaner, my own everything. So like I don't have anyone else coming in here and moving things around. So like I just know where it is. Yeah. Mm. Oh man. But I think all things are they they're turning positive for everyone. It looks like it's looking up. I don't think we're gonna stay in this like crazy depressive mood after the year we've had. Yeah. Like, I think things are gonna start looking up. No, I agree as well, dude. Like the way I've seen people behave in general is very nice. Like the openness to conversation, like just people being chilled with each other. Like in general, that's what I see mostly. I think it's like every once in a while there's an asshole, but you just get so attached to the luck. You're more grateful for the people that are nice to you than you ever were. Yeah. You didn't take for granted like you used to. Like, oh, okay, that person was nice to me. You just saw the guy that was like, hey, fuck you. And you're like, yeah, well, fuck you too, man. Go home and like, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah. And then for the rest of the day, and then you get home. You forget about the nice guy that was uh, there yeah. as well. Yeah, that's. You get home and you bitch to someone. You're like, oh, there was this fucking this asshole guy. But there were like 10 guys that were nice to you that day. But, that's but you won't come like, home and say that. But that's also like choosing or like sort of what sticks with you throughout the day. Yeah. Because like if someone pissed you off, yeah, but someone could have also made your day as well. But because you're pissed off, you might have missed that even. There's where I argue you got to know yourself. Yeah. What emotions are you And how long feeling? are you willing to hold on to something? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's good to just let it flow. If you're pissed off, be pissed off. But then like rationalize it let it flow yeah be done with it 